this is my life you know my life revolves around my Mexican culture and representing our people sharing the art sharing our talents as Mexican as indigenous people they are already in our ancestral DNA it's not just costume or a face paint or a makeup it's not it's sacred you know it's sacred hi my name is Greeny Camberos I am here with in the know to talk to you about the pass the brush makeup challenge I created showcasing our beautiful Mexican culture and traditions for Dia de los Muertos I'm a full-time artist in Los Angeles and these women are actually some of the best face painters in LA and if not California since we are currently in a pandemic this was our way to show you the beauty of our culture and the beauty of the transformation really that we create when you watch social media and you watch um, any type of entertainment sometimes we, we are not represented you know this was the opportunity to like give people an insight into our world which is in our homes and then to show you how we can transform into our beautiful ofrendas which is our ceremonial um, wardrobe and headpieces and, and, and adornments even the jewelry that we wear and all that I, I had the idea because I saw another pass the brush challenge I was like you know what I can do that I want to do that to represent our Dia de los Muertos, which is the most important day in Mexico. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, is celebrated on November 1st and November 2nd. Our tradition is to celebrate nine days leading to November 2nd. On November 1st, we welcome all our, our kids, our little angels, our, our babies, the kids' souls who left us too soon or didn't make it. On the second, we welcome all our ancestors, all the grown-ups, all the adults, and we give our goodbyes on the second at midnight. On the video, each one of them represented their own essence and their own style, which is beautiful because they represent a Katrina, which is the Lady of the Dead. It's very important for us to know that Dia de los Muertos goes a lot further than the La Catrina. It originated from Miklan Tecutli and Miklan Siwat, and then uh, another artist came up in later years and created La Catrina. So as far as the Catrina look and the Catrina representation goes, is actually to make fun of the living. <laughs> the Catrina was created to remind us like, we're all going to die, we're all gonna end up in ashes, we're all gonna end up in bone, and we're going in the same path no matter how much we own or how much jewelry we wear. So the Katrina being a skeleton adorned with like beautiful things, whether it be these amazing headdresses or these beautiful dresses, it doesn't stop being a skeleton. It's very fun to be a Katrina because it's also a very like playful thing that you do because it's death, you know, like death is here to take you and make you feel really scared and like everybody's trying to stay away from death, you know? So the Katrina makes fun of that and, and, and it's in a very fun way as well, you know, like a reminder, like a reminder, like we play with death, you know, we, we dance with death. <laughs> so, you know, we ain't afraid of death because we know that death is not the end. Death is just a restart. It's a new journey. That's what makes it beautiful that each one of us has a very different way of representing death. And for somebody to say that they got inspired off of what I created that was uh, an ofrenda for me but I created for the people as well like that's success in itself right there you know because we were able to get someone to love their cultura their culture their traditions their you know their roots their origin and that is much needed because we are always being attacked as Mexicans we need to represent our our people and our culture in better ways that we can be seen for who we really are you know we can be proud about our culture and our tradition it's not bad it's beautiful it's amazing and maybe this will touch that part of your heart where you remember where you come from where your roots are from <laughs> <laughs>